Hello, welcome to a new series that I am tentatively calling Game Take 5. Advice. Now the premise is fairly simple. I take One. five games for a particular system, maybe a particular era, or a particular type of game, and just look through the boxes. At the same time, I will show video game footage of it about here, and we'll have a jolly laugh. Perhaps. Anyway, I'm starting with Attic Attack for the BBC Model B. Uh, now this was a arcade adventure style game by Ultimate Play the Game and released for systems like the Spectrum and BBC Micro Model B in 1983. It's based in a castle and you can see on the box art straight away, look at this box art, this is true. 80s box that we've got some sort of beast. It's very through the trapdoor esque, isn't it? Mixed with spellbound or something like that. Some hieroglyphs around the side. And this is one of the black boxes, which are increasingly rare. Inside we have the rather splendid tape. So the price for it, was it? £7.95? I'm not sure when that price is from. But it does say £7.95 there. Inside the manual. I never did believe in ghosts or monsters. Not until now. Not until the main doors of the castle closed and locked themselves behind me. There's no key here. I'm trapped. Help. Help! No one can hear me. I'm alone. Why are the doors open and slam shut? Is anybody there? Hope I can see strange shapes materializing on the other side of the room. Evil eyes glaring at me. Footsteps. Something's coming down the corridor. Something large. Something cold. I must run quickly, quickly. Help! I must escape before it's too late. Now that's the sort of thing that sets the scenes of a game, probably written by someone 14 years old, but they have captured the exact requirements you need to provoke your imagination. So now that you've been trapped in the evil haunted castle, your object is to find the hidden golden key of ACG and escape via your only exit, the main door. The castle consists of five floors, including the attic and the caverns, which contain countless rooms. In the many rooms you may find furniture, food, drink, objects, ghosts, skulls and monsters. Eat and drink sparingly so that you do not deplete your food supply. Collect and utilise any objects you find to your best advantage. Be wary of slamming doors, especially if you're baking something, and working trap doors which will trap you, and avoid contact with all the god ghosts and monsters, as each of these will use their best endeavours to have for your search. So you have the warrior, each of your characters, knight, surf and wizard are armed with their own special weapons, individual movement types and use of, use of one set of secret passages unbeknown to others. It's always a standard in these type of adventure games isn't it? You get uh, uh, characters who differ in their abilities. Knight, surf, wizard, elf, goblin, dwarf, all the same sort of thing. And there are the controls, a rather nice manual. So there we go, Attic, uh, attic Attack, 